to work today. I knew I was going to come over to this county and knock on some doors. But what I didn't know is that I would run across some chopped corn. Just chopped yesterday. And it just so happens that one of my home sites that I was coming over to door knock the farmer about is right here on it. How lucky is that? So I've been door knocking and talking to farmers for about four hours now and it's hour and a half before dark. And I'm gonna see if I can't. Here's a nice crown right there. I don't know if it's getting a view from the road. There's a little bit of a crown right there. It was on the 1857, 1864, 1874, and 19, or 1893. So it was gone by 1893, excuse me. So it definitely should be there. All right, guys. Well, I got my first for sure signal and some reassurance that I am hunting right where I need to be. There's the car. I'm on this beautiful little crown. Amazing swinging. And I dug a spoon. Trying to figure out if it's old enough to be pre-1893. I don't know. I guess it could be. So, alright. Hopefully we'll find a coin here soon. All right, guys. All right. It's getting dark. I don't know if I want to stay and do a recon or a work night or not, but I've been plastering up there against the road, and I was wondering if that could have been the front yard. I had a ground zero, so I decided to come back into this stuff, and I still had the ground zero. So, yeah, i got to come back next day or two. But I hit the signal... I figured I better live dig that. So let's see. I'm not a hundred percent sure what larger numbers are yet on this Knox. 26, 28, 30? I can't remember. I know it was sounding good, so I figured I better dig it. I haven't found the largey with my new machine yet. So, dropping my stuff. I don't like the way that looks. There's my shovel. Oh. Okay, I'm going to take a few swipes and uh, I'll come back if it's something cool. Later. Well, it's not a coin, but it's a good sign. Looks like a D, a D buckle. Cool beans. Yeah, maybe I was up too close to the road. I'll hang out back here for a few more minutes. If it sounds like it's going to be good, then I'll might go into a night recon. All right, guys. Okay. Uh, me and Brandon are on a night recon. First time in this. He said it's alfalfa. It just got planted alfalfa, so it don't have really deep roots. Huge ground zero, huge hill, and I hear something 
you don't hear very often. He told me to come here. I already pushed it, all, all the dirt off of it with my finger. Let's check. What do you have? This out here in the back. You'll see exactly. Put it on your hand. There you go. <gasps> Three cent. Nope. Stay right there. Nickel. Look at that, Brandon. <laughs> That's awesome. Awesome. Man. Let's see the front. Let's see her face. Brandon Doug foil tone and look what he got <laughs> that is awesome, awesome. put first it one there I never dug one. that's your first oh yeah congratulations yeah. i thought you had one you gotta try but not one of these <laughs> i'll be darned it's amazing that is awesome dude <laughs> that's awesome. good job well, there's How some. deep was it, Brandon? Christ, you're down there. It was, uh, I think, in the sidewall. Sidewall? I ended up digging that deep. But... Awesome sauce, bro. Awesome. I got to look at that baby some more. Welcome to the club. Isn't that something? They sound like crap, don't they? Yeah, I wasn't expecting a, an actual coin. I was like, hey, this might be a... Three cent nickel. Scratchy. I thought I, it was maybe going to be another nail that's been that tricked me. You really? Know? Yeah. It did it, it to you. It didn't have that foil tone. Uh, no. Really? No. Well, something made you dig it. It had to have been solid enough for you to. Yeah. Wow. Congratulations. Thanks a lot, man. There you go, buddy. Good, <laughs> Good job. All right, guys. Look on this hill. He just called me down, and he said, "Largy." Largy. Alright, it's right in front of you. Between you and the pit. Oh, I see it. Check it out. You have a braided. Oh, we got a better picture of it. Nice. May I? Sure. I'll let you clean it. Let's no, go see ahead. What she looks like prior to cleaning. Okay. She's uh she's been in the ground a long time, my friend. There, I'll just get the pretty face. Yep. Braided hair largey. Very nice. Very nice. Good job. You know, this hill is so steep. I think I will join you. Because, you know, our largies don't like to go very far from our ground zero. But, good lord, this is a very steep. So I don't right, know if you guys can... It's flat. It's round. Like barn, maybe. Oh, well, if you're getting coins right here, maybe the house set on this flat. That, that's, a possibility. that's a possibility. Well, I'm going to join you. Yeah, come on down. <laughs> okay. Your turn. All right, guys. Well, I'm on the board. It's not <laughs> it's not the old coins that we were looking for, but it's old enough. Check it out. I think that Yep. 1880 something <laughs> check that out isn't that ridiculous awesome 1882 or three or four I ought to be able to see it there four but look at that <laughs> v nickel and v nickel probably a farmer drop oh, pretty v see that uh-huh that's real cool well, I didn't get skunk, did I? Awesome, man. <laughs> Not having a very good night with the knocks. I'm going to come out and tell you that right now. Everything sounds the same to me. But this one stuck out, Brandon. Maybe I just haven't put my coil over something good yet. That could be, man. This, this is a tough spot. This, really this stuck is. out like a sore thumb. So, all right, guys. Later. I need another scoop. called me over he had a really beautiful high tone i told him next time he got a high tone to Ooh. holler at me oh it's brandon bank token canadian bank token that's why it didn't sound quite like a largey it's a little low yep i'll be darn flip it so we might have been in the wrong spot guys maybe maybe Awesome sauce. Half penny. Looks like. <laughs> you saw the date? Yeah, yep. I see it too. They're always 1844. <laughs> That's cool. Boom, babe. All right. Good job. All right, guys. Later. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
we got into this uh, lighter stuff. It looks like they've tilled it. Right over there is freshly planted alfalfa. Brandon dug his 1844 Canadian. I just got silver. You just got silver. I just got silver. Seated. <laughs> That's awesome. Dude, check out the date. 1845. 45. That's amazing. Awesome. <laughs> I don't want to go home yet now. <laughs> I don't blame you. We were just talking about getting out of here. Check it, bro. That's awesome. Oh, I needed that so bad. I was about ready to throw this Knox. <laughs> he was. Every, <laughs> everything already, sounded the same. On Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> yeah. Awesome sauce. Sweet. Awesome. Awesome. Boy, now I feel better. We're both doing good tonight. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Later. Okay, we're going to do a wrap up. This video started last night with the new permission. I was in there. I got some video footage of me dinking around for like the first hour. And then I went home. Um, got a hold of Brandon tonight. We decided to do a recon. Went back to that chopped cornfield. Then we started experiencing some terrible interference, and I don't know my machine well enough to know if it's ground zero or if it's interference, but after he showed me, it was affecting everybody. So we left. We got into this alfalfa field. Just planted. It's not been alfalfa for years and years and years, so I think it was a little better than normal. And this is what we did. I dug. I think that's a piece of lead. I don't know if it's too big for the backing of a rosette, bridal rosette or not. But maybe not. And I dug some iron. I'm still learning the knocks. I might want to show you guys what I'm doing. Last night I dug some buttons up there in the chopped cornfield. I dug that D buckle. I don't know what that is. I'm wondering if it has something to do with the oil lamp, but I doubt it because this looks different. I dug this spoon up there. That's, that home site was gone by 93, 1893, so that's cool. I got a bullet, and I don't know what that is. It's got a hole in the top of it. I think it's copper. That sounded like a three cent nickel, but it's really, it's soft. I don't know what it is. I did dig a neat little square nail. I dug that up there last night and chopped corn. I don't know what it is. The back of a, I thought it was the back of a pocket watch at first, but I know it's not that. Tonight I dug a little piece of copper strapping and some lead. Was not expecting that. I thought these home sites were older than this, but maybe it was a farmer drop. 1880. Ooh, it's either 88 or 83, Brandon. Maybe 83, yep. V nickel, for crying out loud. But I'll take them. And I got sat down right here towards the end. Isn't that something? No stars, 1845. Couldn't no arrows. be. Or no arrows, yeah. Couldn't be more happier. Saved my night, I'll tell you. I was struggling. And now for the Brandon. Look at the size of that ladle. That's cool. And uh, I don't know if that's an old one or not, but he does a shotgun head stamp. Means he was digging the good signals tonight, and guess what? Paid off. Tonight, Brandon Iron dug his first three cent nickel. 1866 look at that those do not come around i'll just say those do not come around every year they're a terrible sounding most people describe the sound as foil and how many of you love to dig foil probably not too many of you but in these old field sites we're getting to where we dig it all so as long as it's solid we pull it out of the ground and that's what you get brandon pulled at 18 Ooh, did we get a date? It's a braided hair. It's probably a 40s or 50. I think that last digit's a 5, so maybe 45, 55, something like that. You see that, Brandon? Yep. That's a 5. And then he dug an 1844 Canadian half cent. Cool beans. Sweet. Hey, I think it was worth the trip, don't you? Oh, yeah. So do I. <laughs> All right, guys. Later.